Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we will be talking about thread. So we'll make a little screw. I got a little drawing here. I'll show you two ways to make thread for this screw. So let's start by making the general shape. So first things first, we see this is metric 16 millimeters, which means this is a circle that's 16. Let's draw it right away. Put some dimensions, 16 millimeters. Let's pad it and let's check ourselves how how tall it is. It's 30 millimeters. So let's put in 30 millimeters. Then we select this face and sketch it. We are going to draw oops. We're going to draw a hexagon for our screw. And we want it to be how much? 32. So let's select 32. There we go. Exit it. And the height of that is 10. Let's pad it into 10. There we go. Now, the basic command that you'll be using for, tre for tread is this. Thread and tap. It's in the let me check how it's called. Dress up features. You can find it. I'm pretty sure it's down here somewhere. It isn't down here. It's somewhere up, that means. There it is. Here we go. Let's put it back. Select our command and let's check what Katya, Katya wants. Select our supports. So we need to select our lat lateral face, which is this. And set our limit or starting point, and that's going to be the bottom. And now you can see we got this. We can select our type to be the metric tick pitch. And right away, because it's 60 millimeters, Katya selected 60 millimeters. And now we need a thread depth. In this drawing, the thread depth is 20 millimeters. So let's select this and put 20 millimeters in. Let's preview it. It looks about right. Our pitch is 2 millimeters. Greatness. And now it's there. If we look at this, we see that we have it. All that's left is some details like this. The easiest way to do this is this feature command here, chamfer. Select our edge. We want it to be 12, 2 millimeters at 45 degree angles. There we go. And we also got this little part here. Let's try and make it. The easiest way to do that is select the plane from which this side is at. The bigger side, you see, with three faces showing. If you select the other plane, you will only see two sides, you see. So we need to select this side right here. What are you going to do? Actually, we can't select this. We have to select this plane instead. Why it said plane? Let's just draw a simple little triangle here. It doesn't have to be too special because we don't have any details on how what the circle is here. We don't have a detail of how, how big this circle is here. If we had it, then we would have to make it special. But for now, we don't. Then we can use the Grieve command from our sketch-based features. Grieve command selected. We have selected, we have to select the body. It's been selected and now the axis. We will select this axis or the Z axis. We can select the Z axis. And there we go. We got our little picture. Niceness. All right, the second part of the video now. Now we don't have the M16. We have this. We need to make the 3D image. We'll be using the helix command for this. So let's show you how we could make this. We have our detail. This is a regular triangle that has one millimeter on all sides because it's the same triangle. Let's make that. Let's reuse this. So we don't need this thread anymore. We can delete it. 
we don't we'll keep the groove and but we'll delete the jump delete it now first things first we'll need a point so let's real quick zoom in here and put a point at the edge of this part right here get out of there now what you have to do is enter and this part mechanical design and all the way down to wireframe and surface design we got a new environment with a bunch of new commands this might seem crazy but it's okay we'll just use one command it's from this part here wireframe wireframe is all the way at the bottom so we'll use the last one if you select the arrow little key at the last command we have spline and helix let me show you helix we select our helix command so we need a starting point this is our point that we've selected now we need an axis we can select the z-axis again and as you can see we got our little helix we need the pitch so if you remember before the pitch for mem16 is two millimeters and the height is let's check it out 20 millimeters so our height is 20 millimeters preview and we got our helix we can go back now to part design now let's get back into this plane our y and z plane select it and now let's make this triangle this detail here so we'll just make it somewhere here we're not gonna make it all the way here let's just make a little triangle and oops let's constrain it select the constraint this is going to be one millimeter now we need to select the angles we, we're gonna make this 60 degrees and the other one as well is going to be 60 degrees now that we've done that we got our perfect little triangle what we'll have to do now is move it a little bit so we'll see let's move it here So let's make this point of the triangle and H with this little constraint definition into a coincidence. Now it's completely centered. Okay. And let's make this line with this line into a coincidence as well. Boom. Let's get out. Now the command we'll be using to make this thread is rib. So rib requires us to select our profile which is this triangle and the line that it or sensor code that it will follow it's gonna follow this so you see it looks very weird right now that's because it's keeping an angle we have to select the profile control and make it into a pulling direction and choose the z-axis and now it's a normal thread we can now Select it and see how it looks. There we go. <laughs> All right. One more detail is to add this line right here. So now we can't use chamfer. We'll have to use groove again. Just like this, we'll do it with this now. Select this with the sketch. And now we'll go in two millimeters and two more millimeters here. Like this. I'll select this and this and this. All right, we've selected the middle sketch. As you can see, it's in the middle of here. Now we can select groove, select our profile and select our axis. It's gonna be the Z axis or the axis of this circle right here. But we're gonna select the Z axis by right clicking here, the Z axis. There we go. A little detail that we might need to fix. Okay, that we don't have to fix it. There we go. We've made our thread in the second different way. So this is the external thread and how you can make it in two ways based on how you got your technical drawing. Thank you for watching till the end and have a great night, day or evening or morning. Goodbye.